What's up, cohorts, filmmakers, young adults? We're back. Okay. So in this video, uh, I want to talk to you about this concept called the controlling idea. Okay. In your script, you have this, this controlling idea. Uh, and what it is is a phrase okay and that phrase sort of encapsulates the the thrust of the dramatic premise the narrative the, the conflict in your in your film and you get it by how do you say it okay so you have three acts in a feature or you may have one act in your in your short I'm going to use the three act, the three act feature script as an example. So your controlling idea goes like this: you have a story. Now, in film, the last twenty minutes of your script has to be the best. It has to top everything. Okay. So once you get the last bit of your script done, let's say you're outlining, and you've completed an outline, your first draft, you look at the, I said, you look at the protagonist, right, in the last scene, and the protagonist has a ch should have a challenge. He wants something bad by this point. And it's clear what he wants, what he needs, what he has to have, what something that has to happen. Okay? And whatever is in his way, he has to overcome. So by the third act, you should know what that final, what that final scene is. Once you get that final scene, you have to pare it down to a sentence, a phrase. So, for example, um, I wrote this super this spy this spy movie for kids, and in the last scene, this spy this this like James Bond like child spy, he gets zapped up onto a spaceship, and he's trying to save the world from an, the evil the evil guy, right, who has a ray gun. He's going to zap up the major cities in the world from space. So this super agent, this super spy ends up on this guy's spaceship, and he's trying to stop him. And in order for him to stop, to save the world, he has to, he has to um, blow a hole into the middle, into the side of the ship, which will eventually kill him, okay, because he'll be in space. Okay, so that's the, that's sort of the, I mean, it, there's more to the story. Don't, it doesn't end like that, but that's the, uh, the, um, I say it, the major event in the last act. Okay, so my controlling idea would go something like this. In order to save the world, a super spy has to risk life and limb. That's my controlling idea. So now that I have that, I write that out. I put it on my computer screen right here. Right? Why? It's to remind myself that nothing, nothing gets into this script that does not in some way point to that controlling idea. Either it's, it's a contradiction, it's, a, it's either a point or counterpoint, okay? Either you're reaffirming the, the, the controlling idea or you're counterpointing the controlling idea, okay? But nothing gets through into that script that does not lead to that controlling idea. This is how we make a very tight and concise and focused narrative. You know, where people are just following it and they're not, they're not, you're not throwing out random scenes and 
You know, you ever been in a movie and, they, and a scene comes on and you're like, what was that? <laughs> um, so this is to make sure you're not doing any of that type of mistakes, okay? It's called the controlling idea. You get it from the last act or the final moments in your script and then you go back. And when you rewrite, you make sure that there's nothing in that script that does not accentuate or point or counterpoint that controlling idea. All right? See you in the workshop.